Well, actually, your semi-retirement has been the talk of the community. I got to tell you, News Five's Brianna Hollis yeah. went around downtown Mobile, getting reaction from folks who've been watching you deliver the news for years, decades. Decades. Well, all good things, of course. You guys know it can be difficult trying to get people to go on camera walking around downtown. But Mel, with you as the topic of discussion, that was absolutely not the case. People were so eager and so excited to talk about how much they respect you on the desk. Let's go ahead and hear what they had to say. It's hard to go and I know who Mel Towers is anywhere without finding someone who knows and loves. Mel Showers. Great guy. Nice news anchor. I mean, I respect him. I've been around a while. He was a good news man. Right? He, you know, he reminds you of Walter Conkright. Great service to the community. Uh, let us all, you know, know, um, know what's going on. And good, good guy. Very good guy. To the News 5 viewing area, he's a face and a voice of generations. Mel, we've grown up with you. I remember Mel Showers when I was a child. No way. Growing up in Mobile. Been watching Mel Showers for most of my life. Oh. For sure. Since I was a little boy, I mean, watched him a lot. My mom watched it. Uncles, I thank a lot of them. And there's nothing but well wishes for him from our community. Happy right. retirement, Mel. <laughs> I, um, I can't thank him enough for everything he's done. I'm oh, just like a part of the family. We're going to miss him. Happy retirement. We'll miss you, Mel. And this is super cheesy, but Mel, you are even embedded into the infrastructure of the city. During that story, these sprinklers over here started showering Mardi Gras Park over here. Mel, you rock. Reporting live in downtown Mobile tonight, Brianna Hollis, WKRG News 5.